Municipal bonds tend to be held by very wealthy individuals, and it is well known that the wealth distribution in the United States is tilted towards whites. At this point, you might be thinking, the investor base may well be tilted towards whites, but there must still be plenty of wealthy individuals who are not racist who would buy the bonds, right? After all, the municipal bond market is huge. If you have this thought, you're thinking like an economist. Capital markets are supposed to remove the impact of any sort of personal preferences like race. In large capital markets, the only color that should matter is green, the color of money. Additionally, in the capital market, the investor does not need to directly interact with the HBCU. The only interaction is the bond payment showing up in a bank account. This contrasts with the labor market where employers and employees might interact personally on a daily basis. So there are certainly reasons to suspect racism might not exist in the municipal bond market. Only by looking at real data can we make a determination. 